the glitz, the glam, the trips, the fame. It all looks glamorous, but trust me, there is so much more to being a brand influencer. I'm Tomike Adeoye. In today's episode of Real Talk, we'll be chatting with young brand influencers. I'm at the Flower Shop Cafe. Let's meet my guest. Hi guys. Hello. Hi. Tell me some greet me now. Are we Hello, fighting? <laughs> <laughs> so what's your understanding of what it means to be a brand influencer? Ladies first. Okay, ladies first. Okay, I was gonna say some, but I'll save it for later. Well, for me, um, being a brand influencer means your ability to represent and communicate a brand effectively. Which, fortunately, simple thing, it's your ability to sell a brand. No, mm. it's the ability to represent and, you know, communicate a brand, their values, their cores, their products, their services, literally giving information, spreading information like a radio, a TV. That's why I think is, is the first step. And then the second step now is, um, for me, being a brand influencer is the ability to sell the believability of the brand. So when I say, this is what the brand does people believe me for that yeah. and that mm. is what influences the buying power or mm. buying decision and that's it but you know these days people are beginning to see influencers as marketers mm. and that doesn't work for me at least from point of mind i'll be able to confuse us actually you literally said everything i think it's just having a level of persuasion that is earned so over time you build a following so much that you now have people who believe in whatever you are you're putting out there, you're showing them. So, so for example, um, a brand comes to you and says, oh, this is our values. We want um, authenticity, we want plasticity, whatever they want, you mm. understand? And if you fit into that description, you also have an audience who believes in you and whatever you put out. And it matches that, so you sort of influence their decisions, their buying, mm. persuade them into buying stuff. I, like what you said, I don't, Buy into the fact that people have now turned us to marketers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm not yeah. about to sell you. We would actually yeah. still get into that yeah. in the conversation, but Aki, what does well, it mean to be a brand influencer? They've, they've said most of the correct things, actually. But what I just like to add is that for me, influencing a brand involves two things: the brand and the influencer as a brand. Mm. Because the influencer is a brand as well. Yeah. Mm. So for you to be able to influence a brand. The values of both your brand and mm -hmm. their brand has to align yeah. such that when you communicate the other brand to your audience, they get it because that's you. Every other thing they have said. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Fair enough. I absolutely agree with that. And one thing I think people confuse a lot is a model and an influencer. Yeah, see, a model is someone that doesn't necessarily like this clothes, and they give you to wear. And yeah. you have to wear yes. it, and yes, they exactly. take their picture and they yeah. post. Mm -hmm. You don't have to post. Yeah. You don't mm -hmm. have to whatever. Mm -hmm. But an influencer is one who genuinely likes this clothes. And the followers can see that you like this clothes. Yeah, yeah. You're going to buy this clothes because it looks good on you. And yeah. you it's actually case to influence the mood. You always like yes. the clothes, though. We still come. Sorry, 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 it's your show. Sorry. One after the I same, apologize. Your show. <laughs> Let's go one after the other. So, right. did you set out to be a brand influencer? Mm -hmm. Was this always what you set out to be in life? No, my you sister. With your own. I don't know if I become a influencer. I don't know if I even make money. My dear, now when I call this anything they do, I say, oh, wow. My fire run. Let's go. I always, so, my, my life, eh, I enjoy when people laugh. I want to entertain people. Yeah. I just want to make sure that they know. So, I realized that like, other people were making money, like influencers, and we're paying them for this. And my, my colleagues thought that was fantastic. I could make people laugh. I'm like, I'm not really interested in this thing. So, when I started the thing, it too. One year, I'm still doing the good. Wow. The people don't pay me. One brand randomly just called me and said, oh, please, we need three videos from you. Thank God, I don't talk. <laughs> because if I talk, so when you girl tell me, I just, I said okay. So knowing being on the street, I don't know, say I need to add like hundred thousand dollars. Oh, yeah. Like I just want like a hundred thousand more. It's like oh no, please, not even beg me. Ah. Once she begs, I say this is my career path. First thing where I did, what I enjoyed, you like what? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's bad. No, I, your, I mean your budget is tight, but I can do it for you. My <laughs> dear, when you pay me the money. It's saying wow, this job is sweet. Thank you. I'm Popo Aki. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I have to say it. I'm sorry. It's <laughs> in at the back. Aki, did you say okay, that um, to Well, for me, it, it wasn't. It wasn't planned. Actually, I think most of the time it's not planned. Yeah. And the reason. The reason is that 
nobody just sets out to have a career path as a brand influencer. Mm -hmm. Because if that's what you do, no, you're making a no, big before mistake. Before like that tag, mm -hmm. you're, you're, doing, you're doing a big mistake. Because you have to have something mm -hmm. that you are known for. Yeah. Something that people want to see you for. It is then that with that thing, you influence others. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't, it wasn't, I didn't, I, I started as at about five years ago. So obviously then it wasn't, wasn't a, you know, right. crazy yes. about it. For me, it was it was a lot more about the fashion content creation for me. I, I, it's something I really enjoy up to now. I really I really like to picture something in my head, picture an outfit, picture how I wanted to look, and make it happen. That was where I get my satisfaction from. As for someone like me that was in medical school, medical medical school was very tough, very tough and very time consuming, very stressful. So this was my relaxation. When I'm done doing the books, I want to go and create fashion content, and that was how I was doing. It. I was doing it and. From time to time, you start seeing that, oh, people really like this thing. People are really seeing this as a niche. And then the brands start coming. Mm. So another mistake is that if if you actually set out, you have the foundation is you want to be a brand influencer, mm. you don't have something mm. that you are known for, you will get lost. Exactly. Of course. Eventually, was, you will get lost. So guys, at this juncture where, at the juncture where you realize that, it seems I'm now a brand influencer. Right. It seems I'm making so, money for, yes. from this. How did you now have a niche for yourself? How did you know that, oh, this is how I want to market brands. This is how I want to influence. This mm. is my lane and this is where I'm going to stay. How did you have a niche for yourself? I, mean, I think I was very lucky because I already had a background in communication and branding. So I knew immediately that I had to start from the beginning to carve my niche. Uh, for me, I knew that I wanted authenticity as one of my brand values. So, and I also wanted to be able to influence things that I can defend, that I res mm. that I yeah. that I enjoy. So when some brands come to me, I'm like, sorry, <laughs> there's a goal for 2020, there's a goal for 2021, and you don't you just don't fit into whatever I'm trying to do. So for me, I was very intentional, very. There were days where they would throw you some kind of wicked mood. You said good shake. Are you sure you are <laughs> about this brand value, my friend? <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> but you just realize what you're going to. Mm -hmm. uh, well, for me, um, I'm a fashion designer and stylist, so that was already. And then, uh, you know, um, where your lucky flow does has been a constant uh, comment in the comment section. So obviously, that just tells you that oh, this person is in the fashion space. Mm -hmm. So that was able to uh, fall in line appropriately. But then another thing now is because of the hilarious content, I found out that that um, people outside the fashion industry were also coming to me yeah. because of the yeah. delivery. The funny side of it. Yeah. So for me, I'm in two different places. So. I do fashion and anything lifestyle mm. and then before I knew what was happening I started um, influencing um, brands that are outside that so you know the the, the dairy industry the the, the drinks industry yeah, yeah God bless you and I'm like so how do I actually draw a line because I was actually struggling with that at some point like, okay so when people think of you as a brand influencer what exactly comes to the back of their minds I don't want everybody to just think that okay she's by the bus stop or just go <laughs> But, you know, while struggling, you know, to draw that line, I just realized that the industry doesn't matter because of the depth of what I can actually deliver. So I started paying attention to my own personal values. Mm -hmm. So I made that. So there are some brands I can't, I don't influence for because what they are selling is against mm -hmm. my values. personal values. Yeah. So I don't have anything, I don't have a, a problem with, with the CEO. I don't have a problem with the people that are buying it just doesn't work for me personally. So as regards fixing prices, at first I was just restyling. You know, the way Timmy would say, somebody will call you, you hear their price first. And that's one thing that worked for me at the beginning. Because there are some prices that I want to call. And then when I just hear yes. that, like, ah, you see me like this. <laughs> I'm actually want yes. this. So it helped me to believe in myself. Then yeah. I fix prices. And then after I fix prices, obviously growth happens. We are yeah. all growing. Yeah. We are not where we came from. Yeah. And then there was one brand that I worked with and I charged them a certain amount. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. a few months later, someone else reached out to me and said, I was pitching you for this brand for like times two of the figure that I charged them a few mm -hmm. months ago. Right. And then the person told me, was kind enough to tell me that, they said, ah, even though we have this money, I don't think we should pay her that because we got her for so, 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 and so at amount this time. Wow. at this time. Mm -hmm. And thankfully, it just made me know what was happening behind the scenes. So when yeah. the brand finally reached out again, give them I said, no, I'm not doing no. Gone are the days of, no, 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 I'm not. I'm I trust not, you. I'm not, right. I'm not, yeah. Don't, don't. And, so, and so they went. 
Well, they came back. Of course. And they're like, no. okay, no problem. Let's play. And you know, well. this, this whole um, charging thingy, at some point I told myself, if you want to go, go. You have to be at that point. Yeah. If they are, see, do you know, I feel like any monies that is not in my account is not my money and exactly. I can't use it. Mm. So come and tell me, oh, we are going to pay you three million for this and I do not agree and you go. That was not my three million. Yeah. It mm. was not in my account. Mm -hmm. So you, you need to think about it that way for you to be able to stand by your values and your worth. Exactly. Or else, you need to know you your worth. Else for else drag you. <laughs> you know, that's it about fixing prices. Even mm -hmm. though there are certain charges for services that we render, do you still make some posts free of charge yeah do you still yeah. market some brands free of charge it depends. i market depends my i market my, yeah. my clothing line free of charge oh. i don't even take your no line. your clothing line for no, no, no. <laughs> you should oh, have no, said no, invest no, in your no, company no, too no excuse me <laughs> they pay ah yes wow my clothing line pays because what i'm a staff in our course collection i'm the creative director i love director. it structure wow. they pay oh. because yes no, no wait wait I if i am not a brand influencer do, do you not think we have to employ or brand engage influencers. a brand influencer that's true hello hello they pay. You pay my brand influence. I've got, I wear the clothes. I post it on my page. People saw that. Why did they see the customer? I'm not the one that bring it. Don't be the same. You be the. I'm not the one that bring it. The accountant, the, the CEO. It and didn't matter. It I didn't matter. It. <laughs> if I didn't have the money, so they like stay there. They come. When they collect salary, they mm. will. Nigerians, you need to do business properly because you you think you're making monies. And that was like I told an influence. I said, Do you have an Excel sheet for for jobs you do? Do you actually have? Yeah. But how do you handle people that come and say, post this for me free? I mean, the sense of entitlement. You oh, see, brand no. influencing is something that people are just coming to mm. understand these yeah, days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. now know that it is a job. Like mm. this time last year, my no, family no. member would probably call me and say, I just started selling clothes. So yeah, okay, I will send it to you. And then at some point, I had to make them understand. Come, no, it's my job. It's what put food on my table. And that pr the problem is that entitlement. Yes. Because if you you're going to do something sorry. for free, <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to do something for free, then it has to it has to come from you because you exactly. want to do it. Because uh, yeah, in as much as you're a brand influencer, it's not everything you post would be an influencing job. Definitely. Right. But it has. Right. You can't. You know. Then entitlement is the problem. And I was going to say, if you want to do something free. Do it because you want to do it. Mm -hmm. But when you come and say, or oh, or oh, or oh, 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 this very common one, I'm going to send you a gift, don't but gift you have me. to post. Mm -mm. Gifts don't come with terms and conditions. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Gifts. I, I exactly. literally if had to dedicate me a an gift, entire video yep. to that to clear the air and let yeah. you know that don't gift me. My yeah. first day, I got like multiple gifts, and for every single gift I received, I ask. Do you expect me to post? It's true now. <laughs> I ask all of the time. Some girl said she sent me a bag that is over a hundred thousand. Like if I am to post a picture of these things, even more times, two of that is you know, yeah. so exactly. <laughs> you come it didn't work. Your bag. <laughs> but even in my company, my header sister, Yen <laughs> Luffy, she do pay for her clothes. Where <laughs> are you coming from again? They are telling me that mm. I should come and post for you. No, your, your own family support. Even the so. God that you're serving, didn't you pay your time? I you love you. Didn't you give him your soul? Are you going for heaven? So what yes. are you talking about? Yeah. You can't come and tell me where I should post for you. How come? <laughs> Okay, my post. I'm going to cut you here. For me, yeah. for me is that you know me and Mr. Nice Guy. So they have to say no. But what I do is, no, right? what I do is, is that for some of them, I put them in my stories. So I'll tell you, I cannot post on my main page yeah. because it doesn't even align with what I'm. Wait, first of all, if you don't align, I know they call it at all. Yeah, we will fight. Yeah, but you we'll, if you have to we'll, support. We'll so if I have to support at all. I do a couple of stories for you just to support the brand yeah. and that's it. So there was a lady on Instagram who had over 1 million followers and couldn't sell up to 10 t-shirts. <laughs> the question is, <laughs> to me, what's happening? <laughs> Does a huge amount of following make you a brand influencer? Mm. And does that also equate to sales? Mm. Mm. No. That 1 million followers, <laughs> 1 million followers, sorry. 500,000 fake accounts. Mm. 500 secondary school children. <laughs> so, do you understand? Right. Do they have buying power? Another very important thing is niche. Mm. Niche. Because if you have a particular amount of numbers, those numbers are, are they following you for a reason? Mm. Because think Jesus. about it. Is my mouth leaking? <laughs> think about it. You're having a roundtable conversation. I want to get a suit for my wedding and the groomsmen and all of that, start to think, oh, 
which person can we go and check their page mm-hmm. that would we'll see if your name is not coming first three Mm-mm. Mm, Do you understand? Right. So the traffic is going there for something. So by the time you put up a suit and you tag a brand, mm. another person puts up the same suit and tags the brand and has more numbers. People are just going there to put fire, 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 fire. Like, mm. like, <laughs> love, love, love. But they are coming to your page to look for stuff to buy. Screen so you won't be to exactly. Yeah, yeah. How many times? How many times? Um, so many designers or so many brands that you work with will send you Dude, like uh, like. What they are showing me they want is what you are wearing mm. again and again and again. So niche mm. is also extremely important. Mm. Purchasing power, of course, mm. very important. Niche is also something important. So. Have you had cases of um, working with brands and then some of those brands tend to scam individu- individuals on? Hey! Hey! During lockdown. Mm. Are you serious? During lockdown. Mm-hmm. This girl. She's sending here. <laughs> she said, Kiki, I'm going to send you two samples. I said, send it, let me see. The weaves, I mean, the, the quality oh, what was she sent to you. lush. Ooh. It was divine. And I just it. You will trust me. <laughs> My dear, I called the air. Uh, I, uh, Timo, you even have to start. I give them on Instagram. Bah. Come Be on. <laughs> Take sure. Zoo. My dear, My dear. I, I got to hang it. Yeah. Like a go, brr, 16,000. People began to purchase. This guy even came back, come and say, oh my god, oh, tested and trusted, Illuminati won me meal. <laughs> what happened? A few days to that period, <laughs> things began to fade. <laughs> this fell apart. My dad, even Chino and Shebe cannot handle it. <laughs> things poor. These aunties started, people are purchasing hair, 350,000. Jesus. 500,000. That's why I used to tell people when other things are spoiling, let ours not spoil. Nigeria said, Nigeria is hard. A person's buying hair, 500,000. I've been mailing. When I sat down to calculate this thing, this girl had already scammed people of almost oh 5 million. In Scam. fact, almost 8 million. Because we were buying, like, the ones that even really, there was a particular one that really got to me. This girl is in Canada and ordered, I said, and I said, I ordered about almost 500k. And she asked for pictures. So she sent her pictures and she said, this is not what I asked you to do. So the girl was so pressed. She had to reach out to me. I'm very sorry, but I just wanted, and I called this girl. I said, see, I'm looking at this thing. This is not what this, do you know what she did? She shipped them anyways. Huh? Yeah. All the way to Canada. What? She's a Yahoo girl. I had, to, I had to do it on my Insta story. I had to do like five or ten because, because, because of brand um, stands, we thought that it wouldn't be nice for me to do that video yeah. on my page. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah. I did like multiple. I blocked her. I removed all her ads on my page and I blocked her and I did an Insta story series like, yo, if you go to this brand, you do so on your mm-hmm. account. This girl, if you see the ad that this girl sent me, what's, 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 what's Jello put on her head? I love it. You see the quality. Even this black is king, which they do like this. The like quality. This. I don't know if they reach out. The quality of the head that this guy sent me. So, I mean, that was my one time experience. So, let's talk about a relationship with your audience. An influencer interacting with his or her audience. Mm. Is, it, is it so important that you interact or you just post and go and keep moving? Okay. Is it important to, to interact with your audience to be able to influence them? Or not? I'm going to I'm going to speak from a personal point of view. Okay, for me, I think I think the reason why I think that is important is because I want my audience to feel like I'm a part of them. Yes. Do you understand? I feel there has to be a connection. I'm not the way the way it is for me. I'm not supposed to be. I'm not positioning myself above my audience. Mm-hmm. No, I am with I'm you. One of you. you I'm one mm-hmm. of you exactly. So people can even ask me for fashion advice in the comments, I will reply. So I just feel like it's, it's important for that organic relationship to exist. Because also it has an effect on how you influence them. Mm-hmm. Because when people feel that, okay, they've asked you a question and you reply them, then they feel they can trust you. Exactly. Yes. So that trust is very like important. And trust yes. is yes. important yes. for influencing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yes. let's talk about how we get gigs. Do you have like a management or, you know, people just reach out to you in the DM or via email? Is there like a... Tra- it goes down in the DM. Wow. It goes down She's in the, the DM. Well, don't you get to be <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. How do you get gigs? Well, DM, email, I have a management team, and then they just, they get it sorted. I'm very terrible with, with, with charging people because I'm, mm. I'm consumed by what I want to do. Me, I get excited. You know, before I got to this this um, stage, my mom is constantly asking me, did they pay you? Mm. 
-hmm. Have you collected money? We just have this for a program. I'm already happy. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it, yeah, I got to a point where I'm like, but my management, because my my, I, what, my management is in the music industry. So they suicide, they, when they cost of money. Mm. Yeah. It's true. It's just, mm. Give me but I think they help us because you don't even know what you're worth on this yeah. street. But you know, it, it will literally mm. break it down. OJ will tell me, you will wear clothes, they will do makeup, they will drive you, they will drive you back, you will eat, you will not put petrol in the car. I say, mm. Charge them. True. <laughs> True. Build that's, them. Because that's, yeah. that's the company. So, yeah. most, let me, right now, I think 60%, no. I, I think I'm only 50-50 now. 50% of my gigs come from my DMs and my emails. 50% comes, 40, no, 40% mm. comes from my management. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Being a content creator, a brand influencer, I think it was it was beautiful to see content creators thriving during the lockdown. Oh, for my sister. Shut up, man. <laughs> Thanks to God, it was actually one of the best yeah, moments of my career. Yeah. And I think it also made brands recognize the value yeah more and appreciate, of bra and appreciate yeah. brand influencers because no one is driving outside to see a billboard yeah. we are your billboard yeah. we are online yeah. so if you want to sell your market you bring it brand here. influencers yeah. so in a nutshell what exactly are your thoughts on a final note on brand influencing in years to come do you think it's something you're going to be doing forever or? yeah i think i'll be doing it for a long while hmm. and, and and that's money. because it's not even about the money for me that's because you know what? Like I'm, I'm building value for myself, yeah. and, and I know that people will always want to align with it at every point in their life. Awesome, yeah. Kiki. Well, for me, um, Kiki TV is my major, so that definitely that's what I'm going to be doing for the rest of my life. And of course, my clothing line is also major. So for brand influencing now, it happened and I aligned, mm. and it wasn't something that I physically saw or projected. It was, it was for me. I, I consider it to be. God factor. So I will just allow my brand to grow alongside my influencing and then the the future goal is that the brand itself, which is Kiki, it grows into a particular space and is fully molded and then can become a brand ambassador. Hmm. Because you get busier with more responsibilities and more exactly. things to do, yeah. and you really don't have all the day to be wearing this person's clothes and yeah. wearing that and doing that. Because yeah. I mean, we're growing older, younger people are coming up to do better than we are doing at the moment. Yeah. So you have to, whether you like it or not, you're role models to a lot of people. So you have to constantly, you know, break that barrier, constantly, you know, push new lifts, and that way you are also creating. So maybe in another 10 years now, we are on this table discussing I was experience being the brand ambassador of this brand for five years after cashing yeah. out on $200,000. Do you understand Appreciate what I mean? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and for me, like I said at the beginning, um, there has to be a foundation before the brand influencing comes into yeah. it. Mm. So for that foundation, which is fashion for me, I'm definitely still going to be there for, for, for a long time. I, I, I plan to... Slay puppy. <laughs> an icon. Great. I plan to expand. There is a, there is a master plan. Oh, I love it too. Oh, and I'm taking it, it oh, one box at a time. So, way back. The way brand back. influencing obviously may still remain, mm -hmm. but the brand, my own brand is what's yes. more important. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I, I think it's something that is just happening side by side with how we're moving in life. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. it wasn't even what we all set out to yeah. be. Yeah. It's something That's that common. came alongside. Mm -hmm. For yeah. me, I would always be a TV presenter for as yeah. long as I want to. And yeah. I would yes. wear dresses on TV, so I would yeah. continue to sell those yeah. dresses yeah. for as long as I wear them. This was an amazing conversation. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for watching. Do continue the conversation in the comment section below. Follow us on our social media platforms. I'll see you in the next episode.